am going to show you the procedure for the oxidase test. The oxidase test is used to identify bacteria that produce the enzyme cytochrome C oxidase. Mostly aerobic bacteria that carry out respiration using the electron transport chain produce the cytochrome C oxidase. However, not all aerobic bacteria can produce this enzyme. Therefore, this test is very specific for those aerobic bacteria that produce the cytochrome C oxidase enzyme in their electron transport chain. The experiment should be conducted aseptically um, and um, the procedure should be conducted within the sterile zone. As you can see, I have the burner going and I will be conducting the experiment within the sterile zone around the burner. Also, you should be wearing full lab PPE to conduct this experiment as we have a BSL-2 bacterial species here for this experiment. Uh, the PPE includes gloves, safety goggles, and lab coat. So to begin with, we have cultures of two bacterial species, Pseudomonas aeruginosa on TSA plate and E. coli on TSA plate as well. The reagent that we're using is called the oxidase test reagent. Basically, uh, we are using paper strip that are already soaked into the oxidase test reagent and dried. Um, so I'll be just pulling out a paper strip from this container here and doing the test on that paper strip. We also need sterile cotton swabs to conduct this experiment. One important thing uh, about this experiment is that you should not be using the metal inoculating loop to transfer the bacteria onto the paper strip because the metal of the loop can react with the oxidase test reagent and oxidize the reagent giving a false positive result. Right? So to avoid the false positive result, we are using cotton swabs to conduct the experiment. For the experiment, first of all, we'll need the paper strip. So I'm taking out a paper strip from this container here. As I told you before, the paper strip contains the oxidase test reagent. Next, we'll transfer the bacterial cultures onto the paper strip using sterile cotton swabs. So aseptically, transfer a good amount of the bacterial culture onto the paper strip. I'm starting with E. coli. I will do the E. coli bacteria first take a good amount of the bacteria, visible amount of the bacteria, and transfer that to the paper strip which contains the oxidase reagent. Gently dab the culture onto the reagent and look for development of a dark blue color within a few seconds. This is a very quick test and the results should appear immediately uh, for positive or negative test. All right, so here uh, we do not see any color change on the paper, which indicates that the bacteria are negative for production of cytochrome C oxidase. Next, we will repeat the same procedure for Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Using the other sterile cotton swab, transfer the bacteria onto the paper strip. I am, I'm transferring it to the other side of the paper and gently dab the culture onto the paper strip and look for a development of deep blue or purple color immediately and as you can see um, this um, bacterial species has produced a very deep purple color on the paper. All right, let me bring the paper close to the camera so that you can see the difference, right? No color here as opposed to a very, very deep blue color on this side. Dispose of the used paper strip onto the, into the bleach discard and disinfect your work area. So the results suggest that Pseudomonas aeruginosa are positive for cytochrome C oxidase production, whereas E. coli are negative for cytochrome C oxidase production.